Good morning, YouTube. Today I'm going to show you how to make a strawberry lemonade jam. And it's every bit as fabulous as it sounds. <laughs> I mean, this stuff is stupid good. All right, let's cook, y'all. We got a family to feed. Alrighty, let's make some jam. Okay, I'm starting to figure out part of what my camera is doing when it won't focus. Ha, huh, that's part of it. I'm getting certain things too close to the camera and other things not close enough. So I'm gonna try to do better, okay, I promise. All right, so right here we have, <laughs> that's my dog drinking. He weighs 10 pounds. You'd think he'd not make that much noise. <laughs> All right, so about two and a half to three cups of strawberries and I just diced them up, okay? If you absolutely had to, I guess you could use fro frozen strawberries. Um, I haven't, but I have used frozen strawberries for a million other recipes and I have no shame. Use what you've got, y'all. Okay. And then two thirds of a cup of sugar. Boonie, could you be any thirstier? <laughs> Good grief. All right, now here's the fun part. This is what is kind of the strawberry lemonade thing. This is what it always makes me think of my grandfather who was a lemonade and strawberry fiend. This was right up his alley. So this is the zest from one lemon. And the zest is really where the majority of lemon flavor is. Okay, guys? So if you really want to pop a citrus flavor, you got to have the zest. This is just a pinch of salt. I've got kosher salt because it will dissolve. I'd say that's a quarter teaspoon and the juice from the lemon that I zested. Now I'm going to put this over on the stove. I'm going to give it a stir. I'm also going to mash the berries just with my potato masher. I'm going to bring this up to a simmer and I'll show you what it looks like when I get it there. Okay, here we go. Up to a simmer. So I'm just going to start mashing just to make sure those berries release as much of their juice as possible. And I'm going to give this a good, mm, let's call it five minutes, okay? So this is all I'm doing for the next five minutes. Well, maybe not all I'm doing. i got to restart the dryer. All right, so we had, we had our five minutes. And you can see how liquidy that is, right? A lot of liquid. All right, here's what we're going to do. So, here we go. All right. Hi, baby. So we want just a little splash of water. Right there. And a good two tablespoons of cornstarch. And we're just gonna make a slurry. Now, if you want your super thick, use another tablespoon. I don't. And I now have cornstarch everywhere. And then this goes right in here. The cornstarch thickens pretty quickly, so I'm going to be able to tell pretty fast just how thick that cornstarch is going to be. Got to, going to, <laughs> going to be. So if I do end up wanting it thicker, I can add a little bit more. Okay, so all this has to do is come back up to a boil, which, look, it's already doing. Cornstarch will also, oh, that's going to be perfect. We'll get nice and clear. It's not like flour. So by the time we're at, at oh, don't stop stirring at this point, because you'll, you'll scorch real fast. All right, so I'm going to give this just a second or two. And we're done. All right, I'll see you over that way. Just a second. Okay, we are all done. And at this point, we're just gonna transfer this stuff over here. Now, you can use this the way you would use just about any kind of jam. This stuff and a little bit of uh, whipped cream on pound cake might be the coolest thing you've ever done in your life. Matter of fact, I will link you through to a lemon pound cake recipe that I just posted because that, y'all, is a marriage made in heaven right there, that strawberry lemonade jam. 
and that lemon and sour cream pound cake. Yeah. Okay. Look how beautiful. And it tastes like summertime. Mm. Summertime and a perfect day. Uh-huh. Mm. Make that stuff, y'all. You'll name kids after me. Hey YouTube, thanks for watching. And if you thought that video was helpful, do me a huge favor. Hit like, hit subscribe, hit the little bell so you get a notification whenever I post a new video. And if you have a second, hop on over to Patreon and check out how to support my channel even more. Again, thanks for watching.